Okay, back with another patching tip on the Behringer 2600. Today I'm going to show how to get some pulse width mod type effects out of the other waveforms on the oscillator. So the triangle and the sine, and then the square, I'll show you how to get some different behavior out of it as well. So if we bring up the VCA gain, we hear a triangle. So in a lot of my videos, I am cross patching the saws of the oscillators to get some like ring mod type effects. I'll show you quickly what that sounds like. But I never really explain what's going on here. So the way it works is if we take a DC source to the saw output, you can see on the scope a little bump appears if we move the amount of voltage. We get some shaping to the triangle wave. This works with the sine as well. So you can take an LFO and send that to the saw output and get some pulse with mod type effects out of the other waveforms. So with the square, it works a little differently. If we have it down at 10%, we can get the square to cut out entirely. But if it's up at 90%, then it cuts out the other direction. So if we send an LFO, we can get these little periodic uh, squares coming through. So something I thought was kind of interesting was modulating the pulse width of the oscillator while affecting the square through the saw output. So if we take, say, oscillator one and send it to the pulse width, Try this with sync on and see if it's different. Let's try this with like sign instead.
So that's pretty much it. Just another way to get some different shapes out of these oscillator waveforms. Thanks for watching.